Hello, this is Andrew Ford, and today we're going to look at making realistic water movement on a still photo using fractal noise. Here's a photo from Scotland. I've masked out the water, so as you can see, we have one layer with everything but water, and one layer with just the water portion of the photo. It's a very rough mask, as you can see. So next step is to make a new solid, and then apply fractal noise to the solid. So we'll go to Effects, Noise and Grain, Fractal Noise. Looking at the effect controls, you can leave the fractal type set on basic. The noise type can be anything except block. So we'll use spline. I'm going to punch up the contrast here so we have a greater difference between the black and white areas. This will affect the displacement of the water later on. Now let's make this a 3D layer so we can lay it down in 3D space to match the water in our photograph. If we don't do this, we'll have larger waves in our water. But by laying this image down to mimic our photo, we're in essence flattening the displacement of the water for more subtle and realistic movement. Let's also make sure we're covering the area of water. You can scale this fractal noise layer as needed. Next, we'll uncheck uniform scaling and bring the width up a bit and the height down a lot. This will help us give the water the motion that is accurate for our scene later on. The last thing we need to do is work with the offset turbulence. Let's set a keyframe at the beginning and then go to the end and set another keyframe by adjusting the offset turbulence to have some downward movement and a little bit of side to side movement. That looks like it'll be good. Now let's pre-compose this layer and move all attributes inside. We'll call it displacement PC for pre-comp. Let's move it to the bottom of our composition. And next let's highlight our middle layer, which is the water portion of the photo. Let's add a displacement map to this. We'll go to Effects, Distort, Displacement Map. We'll set the displacement map layer to layer 3, which is our displacement map pre-comp layer. Also, under displacement map behavior, select stretch map to fit. Now let's render this and see what we have. That's looking pretty realistic, but I think we can bump up the movement of the water a little more. Let's go to our map horizontal and vertical displacement and increase the value a little bit. While this is rendering, I'd like to review a few other ways we can adjust the fractal noise layer to affect how the water moves. We can increase the contrast of fractal noise, we can change the scaling, we can even adjust the angle that we have the layer rotated to. But for the most drastic changes, adjusting the offset turbulence values will be your best bet. Now that this is rendered, let's take a look at our composition. I think that's looking pretty nice and fits in well with the scene. But remember, many small adjustments can be made. Thank you.